A second option for students looking to see additional mathematics in high school is the course we offer in discrete mathematics. Now, this is a course that can be taken concurrently with either version of AP Calculus, either AB or BC. But even more importantly, it carries a prerequisite of the first semester of AP Computer Science. It is not quite a computer programming class, but it is a class where some knowledge of computer programming is essential. So what is discrete mathematics? Well, a couple of things characterize it. As its name implies, it is discrete versus continuous, finite collections rather than the dense and infinite collection of real numbers that dominates calculus. That might make it sound easier, but that's deceptive. It's not easier. It's just different. One of the big differences is instead of the concentration on functions like polynomials and trigonometric functions or exponents and logs that you concentrate on in pre-calc and calc, Discrete concentrates on algorithms, procedures that can be coded into computer language for dealing with these finite sets. And finally, to summarize it, discrete mathematics is the mathematics that lies behind computer programming. As people began to program computers, they realized they were encountering the same problems over and over, and there should be some kind of mathematical structure for solving those problems. Discrete math is the answer to that. The course is divided into six units. First is an introductory unit in which we will look at some specific problems and the algorithms that solve them to get some flavor for what discrete mathematics does. In the second unit, we'll lay the mathematical foundations for our mathematical solutions by studying sets and relations and the functions that go between those sets. In unit three, we will look at integers. Computers do arithmetic in integers. There is a whole mathematics of integers which good computer programmers need to understand. In, chapter, in unit four, which in some ways is the heart of the course, we will look at a structure called a graph. This is not the graph of precalculus or calculus where you draw a curve in the xy plane. It is a mathematical structure which models the majority of interesting computer algorithms. A special kind of graph called a tree is in particular how we solve problems like tic-tac-toe or checkers or chess and the programs that play those games. And then finally, as we do this, we'll realize that one of the things we need to do to solve these problems is to count in new and very sophisticated ways. So the last unit is a study of these techniques for counting come out of discrete mathematics along with some knowledge of coding gained in AP computer science, and you are at least a reasonably competent computer programmer.